I made you a cut file to make the cards that I showed on my blog. And when you open it up, it's going to um, come in like this. I set everything up so that it would print on 8.5 by 11 card stock because I know a lot of people have 8.5 by 11 uh, solid colors in their stash, and that might be easier um, than trying to set everything up for 12 by 12. So the first thing you want to do is cut out this piece. Again, that should fit on 8.5 by 11 from a solid piece of card stock if you want to make it like mine. If you want to start with a pattern paper, you certainly could. Um, but you're going to cut this piece, and this will be your card base. I wrote notes on here. These words won't, won't cut. After you cut that, move this aside. And this is the card insert. And these are the two pattern pieces that will go on the front. Now I put words on these, and I could have um, rotated them, but be careful if you rotate them to save paper because if you have a pattern that makes a difference, whether it's right side up or upside down, and you rotate these, you're going to mess that up. Um, so they're they're on the page or on the file, right side up, so that if you put a piece of cardstock that maybe is stripes. Uh, you don't want to have stripes going this way and then stripes going this way because you've rotated the, the shape. So cut those pieces out and then meet me in the next part of the video and I'll show you how to put this together. Thanks! Okay, so you've got all your pieces cut out. You should have a piece um, like this, part A, part B, your two triangular pieces, and your insert. The first thing you're going to do is take part A, the one with the triangle going to the left, and you're going to, first of all, fold it on the perforation, so you can tell where that's at. And then you're going to totally outline the square part of the card with adhesive. And try to get as close to the edges as you can. Okay, so after you've done that, you take part B and you're going to line that up as perfectly as you can right on top so that you have one piece now with a triangle on each side. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. Well, I guess leave it this way. And we're going to decorate this front triangle. So find the piece that fits that, your part A pattern paper, and you're going to add your adhesive. All right. Apply that to the front of the card. Do the same thing on the other flap. Apply adhesive on the edges. I usually get too close to the edge. That's all right. Just fold it under. <clears throat> Apply this one. Okay, now we're going to open the card back up and we're going to apply adhesive just along this bottom edge on this side. Well, I'm not doing very good with the glue today. Okay, so that is, we just applied adhesive just along this right edge and fold that over. And we're going to apply adhesive on the left edge. And you're going to fold that over. Okay, so now you have the base of your card. Your insert's going to fit on the inside. And I want to put a sentiment on here. This is going to be my daughter's birthday card, so I just marked lightly with a pencil because I don't want the sentiment to show up here, although it, it definitely could. 
So I need to put it underneath of there. And I am going to, since this is a black base, I'm going to use craft ink and embossing powder. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to emboss it with some white embossing powder. And it's always good uh, to have a little paintbrush handy. Get that those extra dots out. Okay. I'm going to heat my use my embossing gun and excuse the noise for a moment. I'm going to erase those pencil marks. Okay, so I'm going to take it a little bit further. I'm going to use some of these Studio G self adhesive gems. You can see I just finished embellishing it by adding the gems across the top of the tab of the file and then added a ribbon tied off to the side. And then on my finish card you'll see that I also added a bird uh, punch and branch that I had in my stash. I didn't do that on camera. But you can certainly decorate it any way you like. Thanks for watching. Bye.